Hey, Gloria McDonald here. Would you like to create more financial freedom in your life? If you would, give me a great big huge yes in the comments below this. So if you don't know me, I coach network marketers, entrepreneurs, home-based business owners on how to attract prospects, customers, and team members to you with ease using the two most powerful tools in the world today. The power of your mind, your consciousness, your energy, and the power of the internet. So. If you would like to create more financial freedom, I offer a complimentary strategy session to anyone who's interested. Absolutely no charge. So just write more info in the comments below and I will personally get back to you. But I, today I wanted to give you one key that no one talks about to creating financial freedom. Now Napoleon Hill in his book Think and Grow Rich talks about the idea that we become or we get what we think about most of the time. So whatever is occupying the, major the majority of your thought, whatever's occupying the majority of your consciousness, your energy, is literally what you draw to you or what you become. So as human beings, we're like these great big huge honking, super, super, super powerful turbocharged magnets that are just sucking everything to us that is in the frequency or the energy of what we're putting out or what we're thinking about or what's what's monopolizing our thoughts. So most of us are in this never ending loop of Groundhog's Day. We don't live to be 79 years old or 85 years old or 87 years old or 90 years old or whatever. We live one year over and over and over again. So we don't live for 88 years, we live one year 88 times because we keep creating the same things over and over again because we have this mindset, the consciousness, the thoughts that are going on in our little mini minds as I call them are like hamsters on a wheel. So in order to change your results you literally have to change what you're thinking about most of the time. So if you want to create more money in your life, the fact of the matter is none of us really want more money. We think we want more money, but we want what money will give us. So maybe we want a bigger home or a more expensive car. Or we want to travel the world or we want to be able to send our, our kids to college or we want to be able to take our grandkids with us somewhere. Whatever it is you would like to create in your life. Maybe you'd like to pay off your credit card debt. Whatever it is, you don't want money. You want what money will bring you. And one of the huge things that people want that money will bring them or what they believe money will bring them is freedom. How many times have you heard people talk about financial freedom? And again, if I don't know anybody who wouldn't like financial freedom. Not everybody feels like they want to make $10 million a year, but most everybody feels like they'd like the freedom to not be in the burden of debt or whatever it is. They'd like more freedom, financial freedom. So if we become what we think about most of the time, then here is the key. Start thinking about and feeling right now all the freedom you have in your life. And I can guarantee you that you have far, far, far more freedom than you have ever thought about and that you have ever imagined. So. I want to encourage you to play this little game and start really focusing on it every single day. Start paying attention to all the freedom you have. So for example, every morning I have total freedom in terms of what I eat. <clears throat> I make a protein shake almost every morning. Now today I didn't actually. I made one for my husband but not for myself. <clears throat> Excuse me, because I decided that I want to eat something different at lunch than what I normally do anyway. I didn't want to make a protein shake for myself. Freedom! I get the option to choose. When I do make a protein shake, I get the option to choose what I want to put in there. I get to choose whether I want to put an avocado in there or not, whether I want to put coconut oil in there or not, whether I want to put kale or spinach or whatever I want to put in there, I get to choose. Hey, thanks for the likes, guys. Um, so I get to choose and moment by moment by moment, you get to choose too. I get to choose what I wear today. I got to choose whether or not I put this scarf on or not, whether I put these earrings on or not. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you get choice every moment of your life, whether you currently think you do or not. You get to choose whether you drink a cup of coffee or not. 
you literally get to choose if you have a job, you get to choose whether you want to go to work or not. You can choose to stay home just because you feel like staying home. Now, most of us choose to go to work because we actually really do want to do a good job and we certainly want to get the paycheck because the paycheck is helping us, you know, pay for our mortgages, our cars, our food, whatever. So we choose to go to work, but be aware that you are choosing to go to work. Even if you're grumbling and moaning and complaining, which I would really encourage you not to do because you want to raise your vibration, recognize that you're choosing everything and that you have an absolute abundance of freedom and abundance of choice. So start playing this little game with yourself and paying attention to moment by moment by moment throughout the day, all day, every day, how much freedom you have. You get to choose if you want to go for a walk or stay inside. Today, I looked outside, it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's a little drizzly. I thought, nah, I don't feel like going for a walk today. Maybe later on I will, but this morning I didn't feel like it. It wasn't such a beautiful morning. My choice, freedom. So you have so, so, so much more freedom in your life right now than I can guarantee you than you've ever paid attention to and been aware of. So as you start paying attention to and focusing on all the freedom you have now, if you get what you think about most of the time and you start paying attention to the freedom, you start focusing on the freedom that you already have and feeling the energy of, oh my gosh, I've got the freedom to do this. Oh my gosh, I've got the freedom to do that. Oh my gosh, I've got so much freedom. What will happen is you will literally be in a different frequency vibration and you will draw to you people, circumstances, and events that give you even more and more and more and more and more freedom. And it's so fun and exciting. And then start paying attention to all the different ways in which the universe is responding to you, paying attention to it. Last week, if you remember on Wealth Wednesday, which by the way, welcome to Wealth Wednesday. This is Wealth Wednesday. It's all about financial freedom. Last week on Wealth Wednesday, I talked about the fact that the currency of the universe is ideas. So pay attention to how the currency of the universe is constantly, nonstop, 24 seven, flowing to you in ideas. And as you start seeing the freedom that you have, the freedom you have to choose your feelings, you get to choose if you feel happy, excited, joyful, peaceful, harmonious, or sad, angry, resentful, whatever, whatever. Choose the higher frequency vibrations and recognize, oh my gosh, I literally have the freedom to choose every single moment of every day, how I'm feeling, how I'm thinking, what I'm doing, what I'm wearing, what I'm eating, etc., etc. So start really celebrating all your freedom. And as you focus on that, you will draw more freedom to you as this massive, powerful, energetic magnet that you are. So again, if you want to book a complimentary strategy session with me, please, please, please just comment more info below and I will definitely get back to you. And don't forget to give me that big old huge whomp and yes, if you want more financial freedom in your life. Happy Wealth Wednesday and I will see you again soon. Bye.